So Blacksmith and Rep is finally useful for something. There are brand new enhancements you can use and I'll probably go over them in a later video, perhaps tomorrow. But for now, I'll just go over how to get rank 10 blacksmithing as fast as possible. Do you want to click on this NPC, smithing rep? And I'm going to go over the two uh, daily quests later, Masterful Metallurgy and Advanced Alloying. But first I'll go over the main ones you want to do. So if you have a bunch of gold, you can just finish the video right here and donate like 50 million gold. Buy as many gold vouchers as you can from Slashdown Alchemy Academy and turn in for 1000 rep. Do not forget to use um, Rep Boost and something like Carla's Living Head, which gives you plus 30% reputation. Alternatively, you could do Monster Machining, which is the one I recommend the most. And to do this, you want to go to Slash Join Hydra Challenge. So I recommend going to Public Room and going to whichever room has the most people, which in this case is level 90. But everyone's here pretty dumb and they keep on dying, so we're just going to go into a separate room. And from personal experience, I recommend level 45 the most, as it has the best ratio of number of skills it gives you to HP. The higher the level of the Hydra, the more skills it can give you. These ones give between 1 to 5 scales, depending on chance. So after about 300 Hydra pieces, you want to go to slash join Power of Doom. And you want to do slash go to Array, or whoever's in the room. And over here, they will drop monster trophies if you kill the bosses. The harder the boss you're facing, the more they give you. So if you go to the final one, Slug Butter, they can give you up to like 10 uh, trophies per kill. So over here you want to kill this boss and it can give you a bunch of trophies at once. And finally you want to go to Slash Join Mall and you go over here and you want to kill this boss. You can always just kill him until he drops the creature shard, which shouldn't take too long. And once you're done with that, you want to turn in your quest with a rep boost and you should get about 2500 plus 10,500 uh, reputation. That's 13,000 reputation just for that quest alone. Now finally let's move into the daily quest. Let's go to, let's try and do Masterful Metallurgy and Advanced Alloying. If you want to go to Artix, click Recreate BLOD, um, Metal Enchantments, and over here you click Minecrafting and you accept the quest and you go to slash join Statlag White and over here you kill these monsters until you finish the quest which is killing them 30 times and once you do that you go back to Necropolis and you want to turn in your quest and click on iron because you can choose which one you get, you get two irons for this and then you want to click on the immortal iron enchantment and this will give you one immortal iron to get immortal iron you need undead energy which you can get from killing skeletons at battle under B spirit orbs which you might have a bunch of already if you've tried BLOD before. If not, it's going to take you a while and it's probably not worth doing. And f and also you're going to need iron, which we just got right now. Then we're going to need pallid daffodils. And then go to slash join Arkengrove. And over here you want to kill these sp seed spitters until you finish the quest for the pallid daffodils. Once you have 25 pallid daffodils from Arkengrove, you can get the immortal iron. And once you have the immortal iron, you want to click on this quest, turn it in. And that should give you about 30,000 reputation. With a rep boost and the server boost being on and of course a capable. I did this a bunch of times and got like 200k rep in like 10 minutes. Of course the daily so you're gonna need a bunch of irons to you know get as much as I did. But I had some pre-stack from ages ago. Next you're gonna click on Veil and click uh, Spulter's Armor Quest, X Quests. Now this isn't available to any everyone, I think it's member only. Click on Hardcore Metals and you do the same thing. You go to Slash and Stalic Bite, complete the quest and turn it in to get the Palladium. Then you go to Punish Palladium Hex, and same thing here, you get some Dark Energy, the Palladium we just got, Dark Spirit Orbs, which you might already have if you've tried the, if you've tried getting SDKA before, and finally Deadly Nightshade, which you can get from Arkengrove by killing the Seed Spitters, and that's one Pernicious Palladium. You turn in Advanced Alloying after you get that, and you get about 30,000 rep with the rep boost. Those are the three different methods, the Gold Method, the Grinding Method, and the Daily Method. Like the video if this was useful and subscribe if you haven't already.